It all started when he was a young boy, buying WWE Championship belts, going to main events, going to live events, seeing all his favorite superstars in action, taking videos, taking pictures, knowing that one day he wanted to be a WWE superstar. He had his high points, and he had his low points. He was an amateur wrestler, and he wasn't a wrestler at all. But then, one day, he got the opportunity of a lifetime. He is here, he is here, and he is here. I present to you, Blue Jay. Welcome to the NXT tryouts. Blue Jay, My name is Bill DeMott, and I'm the head trainer after having this dream of becoming a WWE superstar, only one day of open tryouts has this. finally got his chance. This is your one chance. Has finally got his chance to be a part of something greater than himself. All those years of training, all those years of amateur wrestling, has finally paid off for him as he has finally received an opportunity to try out to be a WWE superstar. What's good, guys? Blue Jay here. Uh, this is my WWE My Career guy, obviously. Uh, his name's Blue Jay, as you can tell by the logo. It's a pretty sweet guy that I made here, just for you guys. Uh, pretty much... Uh, the, my career is pretty slow at the beginning. Uh, I played it already, but you'll see here your guy has like no stamina. He's real slow. Ooh, nice little clothesline there. Blue Jay dominating. Baron Blade. Baron Blade. Uh, he's gonna be a key figure in the story. I think. I think I'm not too sure, but. As you can tell, like, you see, he's, I, I want this guy to be a high flyer, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, not one at all, he's real slow with the punches, I bet you, okay, let's check out the chain wrestling, chain wrestling's probably real bad, oh, see, I, I did not even let me choose one, like, this is how bad this is, Baron Blade, punching me in the back of the head, another nice what little clothesline, let's see what, what stuff you can do here, of course, it's reversed, Nice little reverse here. <laughs> I can't do anything right now. I don't know why. See, okay. I just clotheslined the piss out of him, and all of a sudden he gets an advantage. Like, doesn't look like it right now, but watch this. This is some crap, in my opinion, anyway. Like, I come back with a punch. Blue Jay comes back with a punch. Punches again. And, oh my goodness, Baron Blade gets him in a... Oh my goodness. Wow. <sighs> See what I mean? <sighs> See, I, I don't understand this part of the storyline, but whatever. Crawling for the ropes, Blue Jay is, and uh, Blue Jay just has to tap. Blue Jay has to tap. I don't know. WWE might not be too impressed with uh, with this tryout. I mean, he got, he got beat up pretty bad, clearly. I mean, he submits that fast. It's, you know, it's just, uh, it's just not that impressive, you know? I don't know. I said break it up. Hopefully... Cut it out. Both of you. Hopefully the, the WWE sees off, that now. he actually does have some potential, but uh, you never know, you know, it's, it's just, things could turn out one way and you could expect them to go another, so we'll see what happens for Blue Jay here. Nice little cutscene there by the WWE, I, I, I hope they make it a little bit better in next year's game, WWE 2K16, which is going to have the WWE's large, or, oh. but I want to let you know you looked impressive. So impressive Ooh. that the WWE has decided to give you a contract. Oh, we got a contract. All right. That's a good start for Blue Jay. His dreams have finally come true. He finally got his his WWE contract offer of employment. Okay. What's this say? It is with great honor that I offer you the position of WWE Superstar. You will be reporting to COO Triple H, but also to General Manager Vicky Guerrero, and lastly, General Manager of NXT William Regal. You must adhere to their direction at all times or face termination. This offer is made following terms and conditions of employment. 
The commencement date is April 1st, 2015, even though it's July 11th when I'm recording this right now. Uh, the job description is WWE Superstar, and the salary is 1250 VC per week. That's so generic. <laughs> the job description. WWE Superstar! I'm sure that looks exactly like one of their contracts, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah. As I was saying, WWE 2K16, the largest roster of any wrestling game of all time. It's going to be a fun fun thing to watch. Blue Jay, congrats on your WWE contract, but that is the only... The, but that is the... Wow. But that is only the easy part. <laughs> it's easy getting a WWE contract. Right. <laughs> We're going to have you compete at the Performance Center for a few matches. Once Bill DeMont tells me you're ready, you will get your shot to show what you are made of on the NXT roster. Win your matches, earn SP, raise your attributes, and you'll be on the main roster in no times. <laughs> I'm sure William Regal has said that to all NXT superstars in their lifetime. Right. <laughs> That's funny. That's real funny. Oh, man. Welcome back, everyone. We're heading into Blue Jays' first ever performance center match, <laughs> and uh, it's, it, it took a little while for everything to load, and I don't know why, but the it was absolutely ridiculous the it's amount of time that I had to wait. I had to listen to "This Is How We Roll" about four freaking times, and I'm just kind of annoyed by it. Oh, build him up! Shut up! Even though you kicked my ass, but that's another story. Alright, so I did a little adjustment. Let's see what kind of stuff we have. <laughs> he's so slow. Like, it's not even fair. Like, oh, well, I was alright. I like that. This is just. It's just not that fun, you know. I might just give you one match. I just, it's, just, it's not that fun. I might give you one performance center match, and then I might fast forward it to his first NXT match, because I'm sure you guys don't want to see the developmental period. But uh, after that, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun, though. It's gonna be a lot of fun to see him develop as a wrestler, and hopefully, we'll get some good rivalries going. Maybe even. Uh, I don't know. Do you guys want him to be heel? Do you guys? I, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna make him a face, but not because I. Not. Not because I don't want him to be heel. I think it's pretty fun to just be a heel, but. Like, but it's not that fun because like you have to really try to be a heel in this game. You have to like constantly di get disqualified, constantly get counted out, win championships by getting disqualified. Uh, you have to uh, deny a bunch of like cool cutscenes that you could get, but it's just, uh, it, it makes more sense to not be healed than it does to be healed in this game. Which I hope in the next game, I hope in WWE 2K16 they change that. I hope they add more of a storyline to it. It's just not that. It's just it doesn't have much of a story to it. It's just uh, you create a guy, he signs a contract, and then you go through these little cutscenes, which you'll, you guys will all see. Uh, it'll. It, it's a lot of fun to play, but it's also very repetitive sometimes, you know. But it it's a lot of fun. Uh, so there's a lot of things going on in the WWE world right now, such as. Brock Lesnar, the Beast, returning after his suspension, and pretty much he's just making Seth Rollins life a living hell. Uh, he came back, I think either two weeks, two weeks ago maybe, but he came back and basically is raising hell. I mean, it's it's just crazy, and hopefully he, by the time you guys watch this, hopefully Brock Lesnar will be the WWE champion. And if he's not, I might boycott WWE. But that's that's just me. <laughs> you guys don't have to, clearly. But I, I I definitely might. If Seth Rollins is still champion. I think Seth Rollins is a great great wrestler. So let's, let's get this clear. I think Seth Rollins is a very good wrestler. I just think that 
the whole authority uh, figure that they made him out to be part of the authority, it's just it just killed his image as a wrestler. And I, I think the WWE is really going to have to like bounce back from that to help him out because I don't know. I feel like a lot of people have lost a lot of respect for. Him. Maybe not. Maybe I'm the only one that feels that way. But I would like to see Seth Rollins become maybe more of a face role. I would also be interested in seeing John... I know John Cena is never going to be, like, not the face of WWE until he retires, pretty much. But I would not mind seeing another Cena heel turn. And I know what you're thinking, Cena's always going to be a face. Well, I politely disagree. I think that Cena is doing a lot of things lately to where he's really giving off hints of, uh, of heel turning. I mean, he's, well, he's constantly, like, arguing with the ref after, like, a one, two, three count. Uh, if it gets to like really close to three, he'll argue with the ref. He's doing a lot of new moves, like a lot of new moves no one's ever seen from him before. I think it's very, very possible that we could see a Cena heel turn in the near future, and I could see him turning into a bad guy. But I, th I feel like that'd be good for his career, and I think he'd gain a lot more fans through that. Are you even listening to me? Um, oh, let's see here. I forget what the signature is. And remember, guys, like I don't have much to work with, so let's let's see. No, I forget. Let's share. What was it? Crunch. Oh, it's a... what? Why is it loading like this? That's so stupid. What? What? What is going on right now? Like this is. Alright, so what is it? Oh, scanning. Okay. Alright, so if I walk over here. Come on! Oh, jeez. <sighs> man. Okay. Alright. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, nice little signature suplex here. And now. Blue Jay is setting up for the move that he will call his finisher for the time being until he gets his high flying moves. And this move is called the Jayhawk. <laughs> and done. And one, two, three. That's it for the first Performance Center match. I'm probably going to just skip these next couple and give you guys this first ever NXT match in the next episode. I want to thank you all for watching. If you're watching from home, if you're watching on your phone, anywhere, please like this video. Please subscribe to Avery Gamers, and we all appreciate your views, and we hope you come back again soon. Thank you.